but also to fellowship with those that believe the same things around the world. Shakare ku fellowship ani au va no tenda shakafana ni super standard. Your spirit upon this camp meeting. Nakumbira umdurre mwe yawenyu pa camp meeting ino. That we would enjoy sweet fellowship with you and with one another. Kutiko wa one fellowship ne mi ne super mwe chete. And that you would guide us into all truth as you have promised. Uye kutimutu tungamiru wa mchoku wa di siku promisa kwa makaita. Tukumbira wa muwe ne vachangu wa chipresenta. Isai mashoku wa nyumu mromo wavo. And touch our hearts. Mbate wa moyo yedu. We ask now for your Holy Spirit to be with us. Tukumbira wa muwe nyumu chene unge uinesu. In Jesus name. Mustara Jesu. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome everybody. Let's open with a word of prayer. Holy God, we thank you for the privilege of being here at this camp meeting. For being able to share this experience with all of our friends around the world. We ask that you would guide each of us individually and collectively into a better understanding of your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome everybody once again. We've been here one day. And uh, we've already had really good discussions and a blessed time. So last week, at the online Canadian camp meeting, you'll recall that I had two presentations that were addressing the subject of the Second Amendment. And I did mention that that was not the first time that I had spoken of this subject. I'd spoken about it many times before. And some members took it upon themselves to actually go back and share or review some of those earlier presentations. And so I certainly want to encourage everybody to do that. I think there may be four to five presentations that I've done in the past that have six that have got the Second Amendment in the title. Now, 
So this is a subject that I've spoken of uh, or about many times in the past. I gave you the background why that subject came up. And I hope all of you watched the two presentations that Katya did. At the same camp meeting, of course. And how those two presentations relate to each other. So uh, we're in person uh, this weekend, so we want to take the opportunity to dialogue with each other. Uh, to, to so I just want to clarify, I know we had the chat open, so this is for the technical team, I don't have Zoom open on my computer, do I need to open Zoom? I'm just doing it now. Sorry about this slight delay. I forgot about the chat that I'm not on Zoom. Okay, so I want to begin by ask begin by asking the question. How many people here, just by a show of hands, watched Katia's presentations? It's two that she did. Okay, so uh, about maybe a quarter of the people. Maybe quarter Ivan. So, what I would like is for those who of you who watched her presentations to give a summary of what you think she was saying, what the message she wanted to give to us. Never call on my presentation. You are you. Don't compare with the people. Summary. What message? I tried to put on a kitty and the kitty could be. I doubt it could be quite easy. So, put your hands up if you want to volunteer. If you if you don't want to say it, then you don't have to. Are you going to tell me what you think or you're not? Okay, so I'll move on then, if you're not sure. Anyone else? For those online, I didn't translate that. Water? Okay, so the summary that Walter got was that it was what kind of men? Mostly it's white men that want gun ownership. And the people that suffer the most because of this gun ownership, even though they're not the target per se, Ahum. 
women and black people in general. Va mazimai nevan va tema. Women, children, and uh, people of color. Mazimai vana nevan va tema. Anything else? Okay. Moni? Okay, so uh, blessings, understanding of what Katya was trying to teach. Is it the patriarchal system? You, you use the word corrupt. Has corrupted the right uh, to own guns. Anyone else? Okay, so um, I'm just going to put that down. Hopefully this will work. So we get... White men, got that. And the people who are going, they own guns. I think that was said. And the victims are people of color, Arme women, chena, do I need food? and children. My victims. That's what you got? Do the second uh, answer that I got was that patriarchy has corrupted what did you want to put? The right to self-defense. Uh, Anyone else? Okay, Other people watched the presentation, they didn't get anything from it, or they're not sure what she was trying to point she was making. presentation, Debbie? Debbie. So she gives a historical context. context so the historical context was the preamble. Context here, Noro and Dondo, Yakanga, Yakawa, the point that she wants to make. Doya, Caso, Butsapache, and a point, my point, so it's the point that I want us to understand that she wanted us to see. Saka point, Doya and Andrew Traga, Yakuti, I doubt to one each. No, you weren't sure, Debbie. I understand that she spoke about the historical um, setting and the dynamic around the Second Amendment. But beyond that, I wanted to try to understand what people took away from her study. Charity? Charity. So charity got the point that it went from 
corporate or militia protection to individual protection. Charity point, Sungwaya Kawana and Deku to Shaka Fakune protection ye militia, as you corporate each end of protection ye munari individual. And when did that change occur? It's going to be a year. -ish, a decade. Okay, so around the 1960s. In the middle of the 20th century. That's when the change began to happen. And you got that from her study. Okay, does anybody else want to comment? Give some input. Okay, so let's go with that date for a moment. So I want to read something to you. And We'll begin with charity's response. Tell me what you think this means. So I'm not going to give the reference. Every citizen has a right to bear arms in defense of himself and the state. Okay, so I'll, I'll read it quickly now. Every citizen has the right to bear arms in defense of himself and the state. Citizen is a right to put a cura footy. I teach you defend a pachake. We are to defend that state. Last question in a minute. Arian. Arian. I'm going to read a second statement. Shaveringa statement is a pity. All you need to tell me is this different or the same as the first statement? And Leon, I'm going to do a third one, same question. Every citizen has a right to bear arms in defense of himself and the state. Arian says it's the same statement. Third one. Every citizen has a right to keep and bear arms for the common defence uh, and this right shall never be questioned. Uh, I'll just read this quickly. Every citizen has a right to keep and bear arms for the common defence, and this right shall never be questioned. Is it the same statement or is it different? It's written by someone else. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, it's, obviously it's, a it's a different author, but I'm saying, is it the same thing? Pascal? Pascal? Okay, that was my question to you. <laughs> Mark, what is common defense? Mark, common defense chi. Corporate. Uh mbata nitwa. Common defense is corporate defense. Common defense uh good def good defender muri pa mbata nitwa. So help. Chaba tsira ere. If it doesn't help, that's fine. Can snow bad sira shakana ko. To have possession. 
So keep means to have possession in your cupboard. Uh, keep Bear means hold it in your hand or wrap it around your shoulder. Same. Charity. Charity. My question to you originally was when did it change from militia, corporate? The person, individual. And you said the mid 20th century. So, my first question is Do you know when the Second Amendment was written, ratified? No. What would you know then, if not the year, the, the month? <laughs> no, so, you said no, not the year. I was wondering which one you... Okay, no. Anybody know the year? Hello, no, so Did you look up? Natar So it's uh, 1791, that's fine. So that's the ratification or the writing of the Second Amendment. Charity, my question to you, those three statements that we just read, when do you think they were written? Before you answer that, you said that it goes from corporate to personal mid-20th century. What is no vacu corporate shenda personal pagas pe twentieth century? Question one. Question ne putanga. What are these three statements saying? Because they're all saying the same thing. My statements matatu ay arkutora kutudi ne kuti esa arkutora shenja kafana na. What are they saying in essence? Arkutora kutudi. So she said the people are allowed to bear, bear arms, weapons. So if I, anybody else want to give a summary? Re rephrase it. She's correct. Are you correct. So I would say that these statements collectively teach that individuals can come together as a militia, common good, protect the state, and they can protect themselves as individuals. So, you saw? Okay. You said mid 20th century. When do you think these statements were written? So these are these are after the 1960s that you said. Who would have written those things after the 1960s? After the 1960. Which kind of legislators? Um, my legislator, my man, EP. Democrats, Republicans, good people, crazy people. Who, who, who was right? Who would have written that? My Democrats, my Republicans, my Wakanaka, my Wakanaka. So someone like Biden would have written something like this. You don't know that Biden's against or is pro-gun restriction. You didn't know that? So yeah, he doesn't want people to have guns. Biden wouldn't have written that, I'm suggesting. Okay. All right. Sorry.
people who sell people who manufacture guns they could have done that people who buy the guns from them they might have done that certainly politicians Tamina Tamina judges could have made a comment they could have done they could have said that okay, so these statements were written between the year 1817 and 1819 which is about how many years adrift from what you said it's 150 years about 150 so 1791 to uh, 18, whatever it is, 18, 18, 18, 18 19 is how many years? 1791, 18, 19, Makore Mangani. Okay, so I'll take that at face value 26 years. Uh, about 26, Makore. What does that tell you, Charity? Charity. So the idea to bear arms is 26 years. The likelihood is the likelihood is probable that this idea was when. Because remember, we've discussed this before. The Ten Amendments, the Bill of Rights. My amendments 10, here my Bill of Rights. I'm not asking for the literal ratification, but they were created or crafted when? literal ratification, but After they finished the 10th what? No, not after they finished the 10th Amendment. Someone else. It's at the same time as the Constitution. At the same time. The Bill of Rights are the, the first ten amendments. Bill of Rights and Doma amendments. Ten ekutanga. And they're all put together <laughs> at the <laughs> same time as the Constitution. Constitution. <laughs> so, I wish you hadn't said it didn't make sense. And then that's not true. Because this was just a refresher of what we've talked many times before. Curtis, <laughs> the relationship between the two documents, Bill of Rights, Constitution, and what they're there for. Bill of Rights, Constitution, So, tell me what the Constitution is. So, the Constitution is a federal document. A federal document. The United States is a federation of states. Um, United States, states are governments. Governments. states cannot make governments. The Bill of Rights, Bill of Rights was produced to do what? To protect the rights of the people, to protect my rights someone Iran. else against whom or from whom? Protect my rights against protect Magda. Magda. Not from the states. Protect my states. From the Federation. Federation. So the Bill of Rights are the rights of the citizenry against. The Federation, it's not against the state per se. So, a bill of rights, my rights, and my citizens against Federation, uh, quite against my states. Okay, so we know from the very beginning so, that there was a tension between the state's rights and the federal rights, the federation's rights. 
kaiva ni makakata ano pakati pema rights ane state ma states ne ma rights ane federation. All these three statements were drafted by the states by three separate states. Zinyora shitatu se se shakato zinyora ne ma states matatu akasiana. And it's their contemporary explanation, position, understanding. The contemporary explanation yavo kana position yavo kana kunzisa kwa yo na yo nguwa yo yo. Of how the governance of the federation, the country, should work. Yo kuti, ku hurumente ye federation ye fana kushanda si. So this idea that first it was a militia and then it gradually over time drifted to individuals is not historically correct. So I want us to all be sure and understand that. So if you go to the Second Amendment, can a volunteer, Brian? If you go to the Second Amendment, and you see this tension, which word highlights this tension that is going on? Between the two groups, at the very beginning, not today. So we'll call one group the Federalists. And we'll call the other group. What do you want to call? Which ones? So we won't call them socialists. We'll, we'll call it something that that's that we do. It doesn't literally have to be their names. Okay, so Emma, we'll go with the statists or the states' rights people. There's a tension. Where do you see the tension, Brian, in the Second Amendment? Brian, mo second amendment to no na makakata no aya papi. Pick a word. You want me to read the second amendment? Not in the very end, amendment. A well-regulated militia. Militia ino chengete tuashaka naka. Being necessary to the security of a free state. It is necessary to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Okay, so so you're saying that not be infringed is the is is the to show you the tension. tension. Natalie, do you want to participate? Natalie, do you want to participate? Does anybody want to participate instead of Natalie? I want to participate. I want to participate. Natalie, do you want to participate? I didn't ask a question yet. Natalie, do you want to participate? I asked Natalie because we had a conversation over lunch about this issue that she made a point that I want to pick up on. One second. Sorry? If you don't want to participate, I can't ask you the question. And I was going to participate then. If you don't want to say that, yes? Okay. So we've got the tension. Brian said not infringed. Brian, you tell me what, not what the word is. Of you that the that phrase, however you want to. Where is it in the Second Amendment where you see the tension? The Papam Second Amendment, Paunu na Makakatano. 
people. Van. Anyone else? No, you've got the right answer, people. I wanna mean to Van. Do you want to comment on that? That's what I mean. Uh blessing. Okay. So the blessing said the, the tension uh, or the words are militia and people. Blessing at it makakata no aripama varai guti militia ne guti van. So I want to suggest it's not militia. And also just thought it's a militia. Why isn't why is it not militia? Say is it a militia? You can answer that question or another one. Why is it not militia, Curtis? Oh, wait there. Why is it not militia? Say is it militia? Not sure. Okay. So Curtis, why is why is it not militia? Curtis, say is it militia? Because both sides agree. Militia is valid. It should be there. Now you have these one group that want to add something. And what did they want to add? So Natalie, when they put the word people in there, what technique are they using? Methodology, if you want to say. Methodology. I want to know what you say, not what I say. Okay, so Natalie says this is repeat and enlarge. Blessing. Blessing. Do you agree with Curtis's position that he said after listening to it? One second. That they both agree militia should be there. Okay, so my he agrees. So my question is to add the word people. Is that repeat and enlarge? So you say it's not. How many people think it's repeat and enlarge to put the word people there? How many people disagree? How many people don't know? Okay, so we have a we have a mixture. Who wants to answer that question? Monica. Monica. That's fine. Arian. Arian. That's fine. Emma? Emma. Before you answer, what's the question? Who agrees that this is not repeat and enlarge? What is it? Chi. And why isn't it? We say is it. Okay, so you, you, you didn't put your hand up before. You've changed your mind. So, oh, okay. so it was flipped. Good. So you believe it is repeating in large? So yes. Okay. Arian, you said it isn't. Arian, what are easy? Why are you reading the Second Amendment? It's not going to help. <laughs> <laughs> But you can go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so you have the what to write out the Second Amendment? What's in your Second Amendment? 
I don't know who the names of the people are. This is a, this is an exercise in logic. So I'm not going to put, I don't know who the people are. And this is the one who is So I've got people. I've got people in militia. They're the two groups. I don't. Okay, for the people who are up to speed, I'll get try to get the answer, then I'll summarize at the end. If you're not up to speed. While they're thinking about that. I'll partially answer your question. I asked a few questions. I asked what was original intent. The answer I got was militia. Then I said, what about the individual? Individual right for gun ownership. I got told that that was 170 years after the Second Amendment was written. Second Amendment, yeah. So it took a century to change from militia to individual rights. Okay, with that? Not the wording, the understanding. New interpretation of text. I then showed evidence and said that it happened um, 26 years after the ratification of the Second Amendment. Second Amendment, yeah, for Mirano. I then said 26 years is the same as no years. That's what 26 years, I'm fine with a Panama Kuraga. Same time. So there are people who are contemporary with the writing of the Second Amendment who don't agree with it. Sakapane Vanu, Vaitura Rama Munguvaya Kanura, Second Amendment, Vasinka for Mirani Nasu. The it. Being who can bear arms. Everybody agrees that people coming together for the common good is a document called the militia is acceptable. Then they add a word in that I suggest identifies tension over this issue. The word was people. So the word people is showing you this tension. Are you okay with that so far? So far. What's the intention with? Uh, intention, yes. What's the word? What's the word? People intention with? Uh, okay. Vara rekuti vano riri ne makakata no ne ne. With militia. Ne rekuti militia. So there's a tension there. So kapani makakata no ab. So then I asked about the relationship between people and militia. I was told that this is repeat and enlarge. Repeat and enlarge means what? You say the same thing again. You agree with that? Are you up to speed, Monica? Monica, okay. so if it's repeat and enlarge, what does the word people mean? It mean the word people means militia. 
which would mean that we get rid of this symbol. And our people equal militia. But we've just read that it doesn't. Because those three statements by those three states are much more explicit. It says you can do things for the common good. For the common good. The state. But it's explicit that it says you can also take care of yourself individually. Okay, so Arian? Arian? You think it's repeating and large? Okay, so we've still got increasing numbers of repeating and larges. Put your hands up if it's not. Debbie, tell me why it's not repeating in large. Debbie, do you say it's repeating in large? If you need time, let me know. Need oh, some time? Need time. Do okay, so. before we do that, put your hands up if you believe it is repeating in large. Some zaru woko ro woko kana wachifunga wuti repeating in large. Okay, um, will this work if Vivian answers? Yeah, with the, with the audio, how will that? I can't, if it's Vivian. You'll have to repeat it. Okay, I don't know how that works. My brain hurts. Work something out and tell me if we can get it to work. Or we can just try it now because I don't know. I repeat what she says. Okay, go ahead, Vivian. You said it's Vivian said it's repeating in large. Tell us why. So Vivian said, based upon what I said, it the people equals the militia. What you just did was repeat what I said, but I wanted to know why. is a militia for different uh, itself. Mm -hmm. Militia issues. And uh, people, it's uh, a group of, uh, uh, it's composed of uh, individual. So the individual uh, person has the right to uh, uh, self-defense itself. Okay. Arian, why is it repeating in large? Oh, Arian. I didn't repeat that answer, sorry. Arian, say it repeating in large. It's okay, I've, it's okay. Go ahead. Sorry, my fault. Why is it repeating in large? Say it repeating in large. It's repeating in large because it repeats. It repeats in large, not in so, so that's the definition of a circular argument, I think. The definition is circular okay. argument. So the repeats are, are losing the fight at the moment. My repeats. Okay, repeat the, the, the opposers. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm 
So Mark wants to give it a shot. So this is going to prove that it is repeat and enlarge. He mentions militia first. And all these militias have arms. And then you can zoom in. And you have one person with a gun. Voila, repeat and enlarge. Good. Okay, so this is, I know, amusing. And I, I want to make a statement, if seriously, because I get accused a lot of manipulating either people or information. That I play games with people. And my defense for that defense is that methodology is not for the faint of heart. Faint of heart means those who are emotionally or mentally weak. It's a lot harder than people think. And what I am not doing now is changing any parameters, saying something contradictory to what I said last week, because what I said last week is that exactly the same as what Mark just said? Or is it different? Put your hands up if, if, I, if, if it's the same. I'm just going to say if last week's presentation was the same. And a presentation here last week can get a fan. Curtis wants to add the word conclusion. Curtis about T several conclusion. And we smile. To no secret. But the reason he does that is because he wants to take out methodology. He wants to say I came to the same conclusion, but I didn't use the same methodology. So I didn't want to go deep, dig that deeply. Unless you feel it's important. So I'll answer my question. I think what Mark said was pretty much what I said last week. And even though I haven't given an opinion yet, the fact that I'm laboring the point because we have intelligent people here who are disagreeing. So either last week's study was wrong or the point that I'm making now, even though it's related, is not the same point that was made last week. And many of you are confused. How to handle, I'm going to use the word logic now. But it's no hand, let's say, logic. logic. And I want us to see. That I didn't entrap anybody. And But there are people who are persuaded that they can see something. And you've got other people who say there's nothing to see here. Okay, let's tell us why this is not repeat and enlarge. Let's 
So the militia, by design, have been raised up to protect. That means to protect what? To protect the common good or the collective good. But when it comes to individual, individual what? Individual chi. So it, can, it, can I use property? So when it comes to personal or individual property, the militia are not there to protect that. Therefore, blessing says it's not a repeat and enlarge. Blessing are not a repeat and enlarge. So, if it's not a repeat and enlarge, but can I say repeat and enlarge? Why stick the word people in? Say it with a vararagutivan, Mukati. So, they've stuck the word. My question was if it's not repeat and enlarge, can I say repeat and enlarge? Why put the word people in? Someone saying what? Because they have an agenda. These people want to force the word people in there. That was a good way of saying it. And doing so makes it an ambiguous document. But they have an agenda. Because they want individuals individuals to be able to bear arms. And what we have to ask ourselves, the people on the other side, the Federalists will call them, what was their intention of the Second Amendment? Intention, yeah, amendment. Was it that anybody and everybody can carry guns? Or that you could have, we will call it a state army. And if you think it's a state army, there's no need to add the word people in there, unless you have an agenda, which is, I think, what is what you're saying. Anybody persuaded? Persuaded that it's not repeat and enlarge? That means you are persuaded? Andres. Andres. My question was, there's a word that's intention which someone said is the word people. Someone then said it's repeat and enlarge of militia. Someone said it's not repeat and enlarge of militia. It's two separate entities. So you repeat and enlarge to double down on a point. And your question is? So, my, so the question is, what was the original intent or how do we read it today? 
mfunzo wako wako uri kuti chi original intent yanga iri ipi iri kana kuti tunozverenga sayness so it's both saka there's tension back in that time period about who can have gun ownership and for protecting themselves it is just the state right or the individual right it's one question the other one is what's the purpose of the document of the statement because if you were going to write it and you believed that everybody can own a, a, a weapon then you would probably weapon. say something like this Every citizen has a right to bear arms. In defense of themselves and the state. Therefore, that would not be a repeat and enlarge. It would be two separate groups. Doing two separate things. And if that was the intent of the Second Amendment, it's not a repeat and enlarge statement. Hopefully we're all on the same page now. I hope to set up a page in which it because it looks it looks really that it is a repeat and enlarge. It has all the characteristics of it. But I think originally it was not intended to be that way. So the military is obviously a group of people. But individuals can't be the militia. So, Vadim says, therefore, it cannot be repeated in large. Tamina? Tamina. Is Vadim correct or incorrect in his conclusion? Vadim are correct. I can't be incorrect. I can't be He's incorrect. Okay. Uh, that's correct. All right. I hope you don't mind. I hope I will. Elisa? Is it Elisa. correct or incorrect? Elisa, this is correct. Incorrect. Okay. Oh, I'm serious. sorry, Vadim. I'm <laughs> sorry, Vadim. <laughs> we the people. Is one. Think you're incorrect. <laughs> so they will explain off camera. All lightness aside, uh, all joking aside, it's just another example of how we get words, statements, and how we go about interrogating them with the rules that we have. When we do it, it seems really simple. It's really easy to get tripped up. Uh, I saw his hand. Oh, I, mean, I didn't see your hand, Emma, sorry. Oh, you, what, what's, you're going to make a defense for repeating a large or something else? Okay, so Emma's going to gonna double down on it. This is repeat and enlarge.
So Emma says, the Federalist manipulated the state's people and called tension, repeat and enlarge. I think that's what you just said. That's what I just said. Yeah. Okay. So my response to Emma is if you were going to do a document, would you have written it like that? Poetic repeat and enlargement. Or would you have written it as Mississippi wrote it in 1817? Every citizen can protect themselves and the state. It's a much better crafted statement. If you're going to write a legal document, would you deliberately make it ambiguous? So if you can't that yeah, if you can't agree. That's a compromise document. It document compromise. But it's not the definition of repeat and enlarge. As I said, your definition is repeat and enlarge. Uh, Walter. Walter. So you agreed with Vadim. Okay. Uh, Curtis. Curtis. I know. Stop there. Tell me the definition of tautology, somebody. So definition of tautology. We hand up who's doubling. I got the word doubling. That's doubling. All what uh, tautology is always proven true. Tautology not by cheap proof of the in Korea chocolate. Anyone else? Any much much a carrier. T A E T. Is it T-A-U-T? Yeah, T-A-U-T. Saying the same thing twice, which is repeat and enlarge. Go ahead. Uh, Nicholas. Nicholas. So, by definition, a tautology is a redundant statement. Saka, to define a tautology. His statement is not so good, so it's redundant. It has its place in poetry. In the end, Jim Boyer didn't say that. Mm, my poem, Katie's are not a ratio. I ah, see your point. Mbayako? So, if you're going to create a legal document. Would you want to put a tautology or redundancy into that? Or you just want to make the get to the I'll just say if you want to get to the point, what would you do? How would you create unambiguous documents? I guess it's a rhetorical question because we should all know the answer to that. that you make it your best intention to have a clear statement. We know that. We don't even no, have to guess. Because if you go from number 11... Onward, 
read those amendments. amendments. And they're very short, very precise, very clear. Are you sure? Are precise? Are clear? And they all have these sort of appendages or, or parts, but the amendment themselves are normally one sentence and they're very explicit. My amendments and ones on Gary sentence in which it Which means that you should expect the Bill of Rights or the first 10 to have a very similar feel to them. Walter. Walter. So Walter is just asked in question form the conclusion that Curtis had made. Walter conclusion Curtis. Okay, so the this study today has been to try to review what was spoken last week. To try to understand what this document really meant document and how we should approach it. And what we have found, which really shouldn't surprise us is that it's very easy to apply methodology incorrectly. And I know that people say, well, tell us how to do it correctly. And like all things, most things, is both a science and an art. Uh, is science we are at? And I'm not saying I'm an expert on it. And this put in the rinya and jima jiri. But I think hopefully what we can gather today. As in the funga put to know about the church no kuna kunga nita vam zora nas. Is that in a multitude of counsel? Kuti mukwanda kwe ma counsel. The safety. Pane safety. So I hope all of us have come at least to the same place, except for the Deem's comment that Walter agreed with and others don't. And the point that was made last week, which is the point that Mark made, and what what keyword did Mark use? It's a phrase we used to use a lot in the past. Related to fractals. And you should know this, Walter. I'm guessing. What was the word? No. Use the word zoom. Atora vara to zoom. He used the word zoom in. To zoom in. And we get that phrase from the idea of fractals. fractals. And you said the small uh, is not a repeating pattern of the big. So that's what you said? The individual is not the militia. My individual has a militia. Fractals or zoom in would say that it is. That was Mark's argument. My fractals can out zoom in. You get the militia. You know, militia. Which is a group of people with guns. You zoom in, he said. You get to the individual with a gun. 
That's the argument that was used last week. This is, the, this is a fractal argument. In overall fractal argument. When you use parabolic methodology, you have to stick by some parameters. And you've just broken some. You can't say that not everybody owns guns. I think that's what you just said. That's your argument. Because not everybody is a militia. So you can't compare the people that aren't part of the militia. We have to use methodology or the parameters correctly. You've got individual with a gun and militia with a gun. And they're identical. All the parameters meet. You've got three parameters. What have you got? My parameters is a no sangan. The three matatu, the happy. You got militia. Mune militia. We'll, we'll say people. We got. We'll say individuals because I don't use words. Got individuals. Totally my individuals. Gun. You said individuals, guns, and the third one is. My individuals. Footy. Cheshita tuchi. Of. Property. Uh, Militia, property. guns, state. Militia, foot, in state. People, guns, property. Van, foot, in property. He has all the properties of fractal. In my properties, S in my fractals. I understand what you've said. I understood it at the beginning. Don't But it's not correct methodology. Asa is real methodology correct. It might so Walter said it's basic logic. Walter at illogic basic. It doesn't mean that it's productive of the right answers. Just because it's logical. We've run out of time. I let um, Tamina and Adisa maybe help you out on that. Because they're the ones that disagree. Okay, if there's no more pressing questions, we've run over time. Can I pass in the and we meet back in a few hours. It's in about three and a half hours if you're online. About my hour three and a half. Can I tell you one? Let's try to pray. Yet for a name, no matter. Dear Lord, we thank you. So we can come together and that we can learn from each other. As iron sharpeneth iron, may each of us be an instrument in your hand to help our other fellow members to come to a clearer understanding of truth as each of us wherever we are discuss today's lesson with those around us 
May we see this study as a tool or a help to better understand your word, your will, and our mission. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.